shower the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we'll meet two animals who like to travel in surprising mm. ways. Okay. The marine iguana and the roadrunner. Uh, wait a minute. Travel in surprising ways? What does that mean? Well, Stinky, the marine iguana lives on land, but it would rather swim underwater. Uh-huh. And the roadrunner is a bird, but it doesn't like to fly. It likes to run. Oh, oh so these are animals who travel in surprising ways. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, how about you, Jake? Me? Well, you know, when you move around, it's usually like this. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? Yeah, that, that's true, Stinky, but you know what I really like to do? What? To tell you the truth, I, I really like to huh? just... <gasps> You're kidding! No! Oh, this I gotta see! And maybe you will, <laughs> right after this. And now it's time for... That's some. Amazing! Today, a bird that cannot fly. A bird that can't fly? Yeah, impossible. As a member of the International Association of Birds, I protest. Ah, oh, but it's true, Armstrong. Take a look at the flightless cormorant. This bird is a fine swimmer and can walk very well on dry land. Mm. But no matter how fast it flaps its wings, it cannot fly. Mm, well, I know how he feels. The flightless cormorant. Another animal that'll even make a bird like me say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> well, Jake, are you ready? Ready. All right. Oh. Animals everywhere, <clears throat> my friend Jake will now show you the surprising way that he gets around. Here is Jake, the ice skating polar bear! La -da 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 -da. I see it myself and I still don't believe it! La -da 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 -da. Whoa! Okay, Jake, it's time to bring in our first guest. Uh, Jake? 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 Uh, well, it looks like I gotta do everything myself. So here is our first guest, all the way from the Galapagos Islands. Uh, Galapagos! Nico the Marine Iguana! Hello. So nice to be here. Lovely to meet Coming you. Coming through! Oh, 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 oh goodness. Jack. Nico, Nico, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Ooh, hey, Jake, skate over here and meet our next guest. Here I am. Hello, Nico. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Steady hello, there. Steady Jake. There. I love to get around in surprising ways, too. Well, tell us more about it. Well, marine iguanas like me live on the land, mm. like our cousins, the land iguanas. Oh, how fascinating. Oh, oh you brought tape. I brought tape. Jake, but unlike tape. them, oh. we love the water. As the Galapagos are volcanic islands, there aren't enough plants on land for us to eat. So you have to find your food in the water. That's right, Jake. We eat lots and lots of seaweed. Wow, you sure spend a lot of time on the rocks. Oh, yes. The only thing a marine iguana enjoys as much as swimming is soaking up the sun. <laughs> you must get a good tan. No, we don't tan. But like most lizards, we're cold-blooded, so we need the heat of the sun to warm up our bodies. That seawater will give you a real chill. So sitting in the sun is something we have to do. Our sharp claws there are perfect for holding onto the rocks when we're on the beach, and especially when we're underwater looking for food. So what makes a marine iguana so unusual? I mean, you seem just like a regular lizard to me. Jake knows a lot of lizards. Well, the marine iguana is special because it's the only lizard in the world that's rarely at home in the sea. Mm. See, there we are in the surf. Most lizards wouldn't be that comfortable hanging ten at low tide. Oh. Hey, what's he doing? Eating that rock? No, Stinky. You see, those rocks are usually covered by seawater, and that makes algae and seaweed grow all over them. Oh, it's a seaside salad bar. Well, something like that. And if you watch <laughs> carefully, you can see we have a special way of eating. Oh, with your mouth? Well, with both sides of our mouth, both, actually. Oh, both sides. A marine iguana takes a nibble with the left, then a nibble with the right, kind of like a dog chewing on a bone. Or Jake eating corn on the cob. Oh. Yes. <laughs> but sometimes we just like to sit like this and let the water wash over us. We love the water. Well, Nico, 
<laughs> We've seen marine iguanas on the beach, on the rocks, and down by the water. Yeah, but when are we gonna see you in the water? Mm. Well, surf's up. Let's go. Oh, boy. Wow. Hey, don't you use your legs to swim? No, our legs are too short to be much use in the water. Cool. But our tails are just perfect for swimming. Mm. They're flat on both sides, just like the tail fin on a fish. And with our tails, we glide through the water. And you can eat underwater, too. Well, of course. We go where the food is. A marine iguana will dive down and stay under for as much as 15 minutes at a time. Hey, I'd be careful if I were you. That crab back there looks kind of mean. No, oh, he's no problem, Stinky. Red crabs like that are our friends. Well, Nico, thanks a lot for telling us about the unusual way marine iguanas travel. Oh, it's nothing compared to a bear on ice skates. Uh, Goodbye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nico. And now it's time for Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. <laughs> okay. Who wants to play something, huh? Anybody? Who, who? Sure, I'll play. Why not? I like playing. What are we playing? How about I spy with my little eye? Oh, no, no, no. Let's play. It's the white thing. Look, I'm winning. Forget eating white things. Let's just put mud on our noses. He's <laughs> so much fun. No, no. I want to play. <clears throat> Munch the cactus. <laughs> It's harder than it looks, you know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I'm the champion. <laughs> mm, I want to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, beans. I hiccup. OK, forget it. I don't want to play anything. No, 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 me neither. OK, then let's just type launch. So, Stinky, are you ready to try a different way of getting around, like, say, um, ice skating? Well, I don't know, Jake. Do you think I could? Oh, well, you won't know till you try. Okay, then let's get skating. First, let's get going. There's a story going round about a hero of history. Well, I guess I better tell you that the hero of the story is me. And if you want to understand all the hullabaloo, then it's time that you heard what I'm saying to you. If you got what it takes, then you take what you got and get going. I told you once and I don't want to tell you twice. I've got a heart full of fire, got a head full of good advice. The world's plumb full of gosh darn rules. Try to run for your life with all them rules. If you got what it takes, then you take what you got and get going. Listen to the lies that the world keeps telling you. Don't hang around with all them fools. Come and get a gander at the golden rules. If you got what it takes to grow, better take what you got and go. If you got what it takes, then you take what you got and get going. Whoa. Oh, oh. hi there. Stinky and I were ice skating. Uh, I wonder where he went. I... Wow, I never saw a skunk skate so fast. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Hey. Where's Stinky? Well, he's learning to ice skate. A skunk on ice skates? Mm -hmm. You're kidding. Uh -uh. <laughs> You're not kidding. Uh -uh. Time for a quiz? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> the question is, which one of these birds cannot fly? The ostrich? The penguin or the Galapagos cormorant? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. <laughs> hey, do you know which one of those birds can't fly? Well, I think it's gonna hey, turn hey, out. Hey, to... Jake, I think I'm skating here. Hey! Hey, wanna know the answer to the quiz? Mm. Yes, indeed. If it'll help me stop. <laughs> here it is. Uh, oh. None of them. The ostrich, the penguin, the Galapagos cormorant. Not one of these birds can fly, but I can. The ostrich is the world's largest living bird. And even though it's a bird with wings and feathers, it can't fly, but it sure can run. It has the longest and most powerful legs of any bird and can run as fast as 45 miles per hour. Go, ostrich! 
emus are also really good at running. And how does the flightless cormorant get around? It swims. The cormorant doesn't really need to fly. It has no enemies where it lives in the Galapagos Islands, and it gets all the food it needs from the sea. This cormorant is bringing back a bit of seaweed to its mate. There are 18 kinds of penguins, and none of them can fly. These chinstrap penguins live on the coast of Patagonia. When they're on land, they either stand around or waddle. See that animal that kind of looks like a rabbit? That's a mara, and it can't fly either. Here are some rockhopper penguins coming ashore. Penguins don't fly, but they hop and waddle. But the thing they do best is swim. It's just like flying, only instead of being in the sky, they're in the sea. Believe it, cause it's true. Whoa, Jake, how do I stop? Uh, well, there's one thing that always works. Just fall down. I'll try it. Whoa. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay, now come on back here, Stinky. Uh, okay. uh, it's time for our next guest. And now, here's another animal that travels in a way you might not expect. Uh, whoa. You okay? Yeah. From the southwestern <laughs> United States and Mexico. Mexico. Here's Rudy, the road This is it? I run all the way and then I just stand here? Oh, you want me over there? Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Welcome, Rudy. <laughs> yeah, hi. Hey, Rudy, will you go beep, beep? I love that beep, beep thing. Stinky, let me explain something to you. Hmm? Real Roadrunners crow. We coo, we hoot, but we do not go beep, beep. Never did, never will. Oh. Now, let's take a look at what real Roadrunners are like. Oh. You brought footage? Oh, yeah, boy. you yeah. see, fellas, we Roadrunners are cuckoos. <gasps> Whoa, I thought you were a little crazy. Not that kind of cuckoo, wise guy. We're part of the cuckoo bird family. But unlike some of the other birds in our family, the Roadrunner is not a very good flyer. So you run everywhere. Well, we can't drive, and it's a lot faster than walking. Yeah. Now, how fast can a Roadrunner run? We can go about 20 miles an hour when we're sprinting. Whoa. Well, do you have to outrun the coyote? We're too fast for the coyotes. A coyote would rather chase after quail or some other slow animal than waste his whole day trying to catch us. Well, now, are there any animals that do threaten the Roadrunner? Mm -hmm. Nothing we can't outrun. Uh, the only time we're in danger is when we're sleeping or when we're crossing the road. Gotta look both ways in case a car is coming. Hey, you know, that Roadrunner looks like he's waiting for a ride. Well, he might be waiting to race the next car. <laughs> you know, uh, that's how we got our name. Back in the Old West, we used to race down the road next to the stagecoaches. So, somebody decided to call us Roadrunners. A perfect name, Rudy. But tell us, how can you run around in the hot desert sun like that? Mm, for us, it's easy. We have a secret for staying cool. Now, what's that? At night, we let our body temperature get very, very low. So during the day, we can run longer in the hot sun. And right here, you're gonna see what they were running around for. A bug? Uh, that's a grasshopper. They're delicious, and we roadrunners are so fast, we can even catch them in midair. Now, roadrunners don't just eat insects, do they? Oh, no. Insects are just an appetizer. We eat lizards, small birds, rodents, and we are known to be one of the best snake catchers in the entire Southwest. <gasps> snakes? But snakes are dangerous. Oh, not if you're fast on your feet like we are. We run around and around in circles, dodging the snake's fangs. After a while, when the snake is too tired to fight back, we dash in and grab it by the back of the neck. Mission accomplished. Whoa, it looks like you do the same with lizards. See, well, we can catch almost anything, even small birds that just fly down for an insect or two. And what we don't eat ourselves, we bring back to our nest, which is tucked away in the middle of a cactus plant. Well, I didn't realize that Roadrunners had it so tough running around in the hot sun, battling snakes, sleeping in cactus? Oh, but it's no problem for a bird who'd rather run than fly. Well, maybe you could tell us more about it. Mm, with a song? Go for it. Yeah. yeah adios. Now <laughs> here's Rudy with the Roadrunner song. There's certain facts about me that I simply must repeat. I never heard of Acme and I never go be beat. And furthermore than that, it's not as if I never fly. I just prefer the desert floor to charting around the sky. I run, I run, I run for fun. Does it make no difference if it's spring or marathon? However hot 
Me run in circles when I'm up for catching snakes. I do the locomotion and I don't apply the brakes. Darting here, darting there across the desert floor. Wearing down the rattle till it's rattling no more. Adios, rattler. <laughs> I run, I run, I run, I run for fun. Does it make no difference if it's spring or marathon? However, how the going gets me need the desert sun. I run, I run, I run, I run, I run, I run. And now it's time for Animal Awards. <laughs> Today on Animal Awards... We find out which of these animals is the best diver. Is it the gannet? Mm. The frog? Or the sloth? Mm. And the winner of the Animal Award for best diver is... Yeah. The gannet! Uh -huh. The gannet will soar over the sea looking for food. Once it sees a fish or squid, it will plummet 100 feet or more down to the sea to grasp its prey. Wow, way to go there, Gannet. Yay! Uh -huh. Today we have a story about some marine iguanas and seals. Now, oh, I wonder where Stinky is. I know he wouldn't want to miss this. Uh, uh, let's just pretend we didn't see that, okay? Once upon a time, there were some... Once upon a time, there were some seals. Now, as everyone knows, when they're not busy lying around on the beach, seals are very good swimmers. And these seals had promised to take their friends, the marine iguanas, for a swim. Who's going to take us for a swim, asked the iguanas. Not me, said Simmy Seal. Come on, swim with me, called Sybil, Simmy's sister. But the iguanas wanted to swim with Simmy. He didn't play tricks on them like Sybil did. Go on, Simmy. It's a lovely day, said Simmy's cousin Sue. But Simmy wouldn't listen. He squirmed to get more comfortable. Go away, he said. Yoo-hoo, called Sybil. I won't play tricks, I promise. So one of the iguanas went to swim with Sybil. But sure enough, as soon as she could, she started pulling his tail. Sybil thought it was funny, but the iguana didn't like it. Simmy! Help! She's playing tricks again! What was that? said Simmy. And then he fell back to sleep. Hey, Simmy! called Sybil. Did you see me pull this iguana's tail? said Simmy. So Sybil climbed up to find a place in the sun. Ooh! You're all wet! said her Aunt Selma. Who wants to take me and my kid for a swim? called another iguana. Not me! said Sybil and she went to sleep. And so Sybil, Simmy, and the iguanas all lived happily ever after. The end. What a nice story. Yeah, oh, thanks. Good. And now it's time for us to move oh! right... Oh! Oh! Excuse me. <laughs> what are you two doing? Oh, we want to demonstrate unusual ways for animals to travel. Yes, and there is nothing more unusual than a skunk and a cockroach on ice skates. No, we. Oui. <laughs> what for me? When they're right, they're right. Is this fun? Oh! 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 Hey, watch where you're going, huh? Armstrong, were you skating? Who, who me? Oh, oh no, you you never catch me doing a silly thing like that. <laughs> then what's that skate doing on your foot? Uh, the bossa nova. Oh. oh! Hey, why don't you uh? Go through the door anywhere and visit a new habitat or okay, something, Okay, huh? but you're coming with me. Oh. Oh. Come on. Uh. 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 Oh, I'm gonna hit the surf. <laughs> hey, hey, what happened? First I was skating, then I was swimming. Now I'm flying. So you were skating. All right, I was skating. Look at that scenery. Welcome to the Galapagos Islands. Uh, 
These islands consist entirely of volcanic lava spewed out from the ocean floor. Volcanoes on some of the largest islands are as high as 6,000 feet. Wow. In two million years, some of the lava has become soil. But in some places, it looks as if it's only just cooled off yesterday. Yeah, not exactly a holiday resort, is it? Well, it might be if you were a dolphin. Which I am not. Oh, but it sure looks like fun, doesn't it? No. No, but she does. Hey, honey, what's your name? That's a long-tailed tropic bird. Oh, I bet it's called that because of that long tail. That's right, Armstrong. These birds are found around the equator and they feed on fish and squid. Oh, do they swim? As a matter of fact, they don't swim. They uh. catch their prey by hovering above the water and plunging down to seize it. Oh, you mean they seize it when they seize it? Nah. Uh. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> oh, come and look at this land tortoise. I think he's taking a walk. Hmm. But this is how Sally Lightfoot crabs keep their claws dry. Oh, nice one. Now that's a turtle swimming in a lagoon. Huh. Oh, hey, there's our friend the tortoise again. Hey, keep going, bud. You're almost there. <laughs> What's this? The Galapagos bus service? That's a Galapagos hawk looking for small animals that the tortoise may have disturbed. Oh, and who's this sweet little thing? That's a woodpecker finch getting her dinner. Oh, uh, you think she'd like some company? No. Excuse me, I could stop by at eight, maybe, pick up some wine and something. <laughs> oh, this crab's cute. You want me to ask her? Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. I think I just want to surf. Sorry, time to go home. Oh, oh, oh. Armstrong, oh. what's wrong? Whoa. Never go surfing wearing ice skates. Oh, oh. Armstrong, for oh, habitat bad. time, it's Bunny Bear. Oh, and Armstrong the Chicken Hawk. Just oh. back from the Galapagos Islands. Oh. Hey, Armstrong, want to learn to water ski? No. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Ready for a quiz? Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt your ice skating party. No, it's not a party. Uh, th things just got out of hand again. <laughs> You wanna join us, Tiz? Sounds like an ice idea, but I'd rather give a quiz. Oh. And here it is. <laughs> and the question is, which one of these is an iguana? Take a good look. Give it a think, I'll be back at a buzz. La -da 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 -da. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, uh, <gasps> by, by the way, guys, uh, does anybody know which one of those animals was an iguana? No, not kids, I do. Whoa. Ready for the answer? Mm. Zzz. Zzz. And the answer is they all are. This is a land iguana. This is a marine iguana. This is a green iguana. And this is a common iguana. And now, I wanna go. Bye. Cute. Thanks for the quiz, Tizzy, and thanks to Eve Armstrong and Bunny. Ah! Whoa. Uh, uh, and a special thanks to today's surprising animal travelers, Nico the Marine Iguana and Rudy the Roadrunner. Goodbye, Stinky. Goodbye, Jake. And remember, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. And keep on skating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo.